This week has felt like the longest week in the history of ever, but it's Friday and I'm off. So I'm gonna vlog today. I have nothing crazy exciting planned, but I have some errands to run. My friend Madison and I are going to go to Trader Joe's. So right now I'm in Starbucks parking lot waiting for my online order. Drop cruise off. Scott had a meeting this morning, so he actually left before I even woke up. I did my morning routine, got cruise to daycare. He was so happy today at drop off, which makes me so happy. We walked in and he saw all of his friends eating Cheerios and he was stoked to sit next to them and eat Cheerios. So I sneaked out on that part and gave him a little kiss. Yeah, so I'm gonna take you along today. We're going to go to Trader Joe's just because I have no reason to go but we're just gonna go for the fun of it and then after that I have a pedicure so I thought why not I'm by myself I might as well get a pedicure and I need to hit up Target I might even go to TJ Maxx if I'm feeling crazy um, there's a few events coming up I just would like some cute shirts or something to wear you know new event new outfit and that's that let's get going Got the goods. Egg bites, a ham and Swiss croissant, I think is what Madison ordered. I don't know, look delicious. Her coffee, hers is much healthier than mine. It's just cold brew with oat milk and the toffee nut syrup, I believe. And then mine, I'm still hooked on, well I go back and forth, the chocolate cream cold brew is so good. I think I mentioned that a video ago. Um, but this one I think I got off TikTok. <laughs> and actually, Madison and I drank this so much last winter. Um, I'm surprised I'm not sick of it, but it's a venti shaken espresso with vanilla sweet cold foam But with almond milk no classic syrup, but add white mocha It's worth it So worth it She has no idea I'm vlogging It's cold Hi. It's where I go It looks like he just woke up like this at the I'm oh, looking like a clown Tell me what we slide this down Tell me I'll be what I eat Can't undo that I got my needs Who's the girl and kill the sound Tell me what we slide this down oh, I can tell that you're a dancer Throwing your hands in the air that you answer <laughs> Turmeric shots Ginger, you got ginger I got ginger Do you drink the whole thing? I think so Throw it back like we're in college <laughs> Oh my <laughs> Okay. You're gonna do the whole thing, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I have to get water. <laughs> you don't have any, do you? Okay, we're gonna share this. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> Ooh, interesting. Sometimes I think turmeric tastes like grandma. Like, not. <laughs> you know when people <laughs> talk about how Funhouse pizza tastes like if you lick a pan? But you don't like pans, you just like that's what you thought it would taste like. This tastes like old people. <laughs> Follower shots of some cookies. <laughs> so this is like nine out of ten. Possibly ten out of ten. Do you remember what flavor this was? This. Um cinnamon. It's like a mm, cinnamon. Like a cinnamon cake. Yeah. It almost tastes like cornbread with butter. That's so good. The red velvet. This is cheesecake, shortcake. Strawberry shortcake. Mm, it's good. With strawberry filling on top. It's literally a strawberry shortcake. Like the dessert. Even the dough of the cookie mm -hmm. tastes like... That's what I'm talking about. It's like a cake texture. We got plain old chocolate chip. <laughs> I bet it's so good though. This is like my favorite. Mm. Those are good. Mm -hmm. My favorite's the cinnamon. I didn't think I would like that one. I didn't I'm not either. a cinnamon person. That's so good. Mm -hmm. That... Then probably this one, mm -hmm. and then this one, and I've had that one, so that's my last one. Delish! Mmm! The that? strawberry filling! 
I figured I might as well do a mini Trader Joe's haul. I do not go there often. It's like 45, 50 minutes from my house. But I had a day off and figured it'd be fun to just get a few yummy things um, that I've had before. And I actually got some new stuff. So I got these pita chips. They're just pita chips um, with sea salt. And they're super good. The artichoke and jalapeno dip from Trader Joe's is super good. Costco has a similar one. But the Costco one is so big I never finish it. So this is like the perfect size. This is where it's at. Cinnamon coffee cake muffins. They're actually gluten free, which is a nice little perk, but you can put these in the freezer um, and I just pull one out whenever it sounds good for like a treat or with coffee. It's so freaking good. Frozen mango chunks. These are just simply what it is, mango chunks, but I love them. I just keep them in the freezer and pull out some and put it in a bowl and let it dethaw when I want some or pop it in the microwave for like 10 seconds. I don't love these. They're yogurt pretzels, and I can't remember if we've had them before. The only time I've ever been to Trader Joe's besides today is when my mom and I would randomly decide to go, and I've only been like maybe five or six times in my whole life. But we always find yummy treats to try. I think we tried these, and I can't remember if she liked them or not, but we're going to a concert on Monday night, and actually on Friday we're going to dinner for our friend Jake's birthday. So my mom is watching Cruise and I thought this would be a fun treat if she likes them. I can't remember. So mom, if you're watching this, ignore this or let me know if you like them. I got this Mandarin style orange chicken bowl. It's a little bowl with chicken, vegetables, fried rice, and ginger sauce. This will be nice when Scott's doing like mowing or something and he doesn't eat dinner till way late and I'm hungry. This is going to be my dinner. Peter Joe's is known for the hold the cone little ice creams i found these they're the coconut non-dairy version so i don't know i'm gonna try those they say a serving size is six cones i'll never eat six cones at one sitting i guess i shouldn't say never but i'm not going to the dogs i got them these peanut butter and banana treats they're grain free and they actually just had one and loved them I decided to try this non-dairy oat creamer brown sugar flavor i don't count macros or anything like that but it's only 25 calories per tablespoon i try that with some coffee because i really love the brown chicken espressos from starbucks ranch seasoning you just sprinkle on i'm thinking chicken or beef Turmeric shots, we took one earlier, but I got another one. I also got this green juice. So Scott and I chug a green shot every morning, but I thought this would taste good too. It sounded good. This has a few servings in it. I don't know, it sounded good. I also got this margarita mix. I have some tequila, so I thought I'd try this. And if you know me, this is my favorite wine from Trader Joe's. I used to do this coconut whipped cream. I got it at Hy-Vee um, for fruit or coffee, but I can't find it recently. So Trader Joe's had this, so I got myself one of those. I got some sunflowers to put in a vase. And then I've seen this on TikTok too. I keep mentioning TikTok. Um, where you put this on your shower head. You like drape it over the shower head and it's supposed to decrease inflammation and like help you breathe better and open up your sinuses. So it smells amazing. I'm going to try that. So that's what I got at Trader Joe's. You say you don't wanna get in trouble, that you don't find cause you got me. I don't wanna break your little bubble, but you gotta wake up to reality. Cause I can see in your eyes, your head is full. I wish I would have gotten like another one or another type of flower to put with them. They look super orange in the camera, but they're so yellow. They're so pretty. This one's either dead or hasn't bloomed yet. I'm unsure. But how freaking pretty. So I added some eucalyptus. That is so hard for me to say, by the way. Eucalyptus. 
eucalyptus. Anyways, I added some, and I think I like it. It's supposed to all be for my shower, but this needed a little bit. So now we're gonna put the others on the shower head, I guess. I need to look up how that works. Cause I can see your eyes, your head is full. no idea if I did that right because I accidentally cut the rubber band it came with. I don't know if you were supposed to keep that on and like rubber band it to like this bar but not all showers have this bar I don't think. So I just tuck it behind the bar and then pulled them forward. Some of the stems kind of popped so broke. I don't know if I just killed it or not. It smells amazing. It looks kind of silly. This is turning into a me day. I'm a fan. So I went home and let the dogs out, put my groceries away. And I went to Chick-fil-A. I can only eat Chick-fil-A when Scott's not with me because he hates it. Okay, he doesn't hate it. We just don't eat fast food a lot. Chick-fil-A, if we did, Chick-fil-A is not his number one. I love their Cobb salad with chicken tenders, or nuggets, whatever it is and ranch. Oh, they forgot one Chick-fil-A sauce. And usually I do one Chick-fil-A sauce, but it's not in the bag. Treating myself and spending money I shouldn't because I'm in the parking lot of Target. But I had a random day off and that is what's happening. If you guys are from Kansas City, specifically the Blue Springs area, Nothing grinds my gears more when people turn left out of the Target parking lot when there's a sign that says do not turn left, go straight. When I pulled in there was a lady that did that and I literally can't help but shake my head at those people. I freaking love these shard. Also count how many times I say freaking loved or stinking cute. These tomato crisp red bell peppers. So good. So freaking good. So I'm going to Target. I have like two things in mind that I need. I don't really need them. But we're gonna get them and walk around, see what else we can find. And then my nail girl called me and canceled my appointment earlier. I was supposed to go to my nail appointment at like 11.30, but she got busy. So I'm doing my appointment. I'm just getting a pedicure at two o'clock and it's now 12.30. So I have plenty of time to eat and browse and Target. Anyways, I'm gonna get Cruz a little early. It's Friday, I'm ready to see him. He's sleeping right now, otherwise I'd just go pick him up now. And then we're gonna get our haircuts. Scott's mom does our hair. I'm going to get my roots filled. As you can see, they absolutely need it. And possibly t um, tone, that's not the word. I don't know, brighten up these blonde pieces or tone it. I'm unsure what the word is, but, and get a little trim. I'd like to, next appointment, maybe put a little more blonde in it. I'm kind of liking it. I don't want to go all blonde. Been there, done that. Not doing it. But a little undertone or underneath blonde. I don't know why I keep saying tone. I think it would be cute. And then Cruz is getting a haircut. I think I'm going to buzz his hair because I'm tired of it like looking helmety. Like he gets a haircut and it looks good for like a week, but he has fast growing hair. So then like by a week, he has like a helmet across his head because... I used to spike it up when he was little, and now that he's so big, when he like rolls around in his bed and moves around, it like flattens it or it like makes weird bed head back here. So we're probably just gonna buzz it, I think. And then Scott's going home to meet a friend of ours to get a skid steer or something to do dirt work tomorrow. I'm unsure. That's what's happening. So I'm gonna eat my salad and then go to Target. Let's see what we can get. Someone's turning in that spot. I literally cannot stand people turning in. What goes through your head when you see the sign that says don't turn left, but I'm gonna turn left. I just got parked at the hair salon. Um, I picked up Cruz. I think the last thing I vlogged was shopping at Target or loading my bags at Target. I went to go get a pedicure. And I just didn't bring my camera and I just wanted to relax and not think about it. And it was wonderful. And then I went and got cruise and now we are here to get our hair done. So we're gonna go in. I was changing my purse back to the diaper bag. So it's easy with all his snacks and water 
and all of that. So, and that's a sign to go. do a mini haul of what I got today shopping. I got some gifts for some other people, but for myself, I got this cute little top that goes off the shoulder from TJ Maxx for $12.99. Then I got these black boots, like a basic for fall from Target. I actually don't know if I love them. I think I do. I like them. So I think I'm gonna wrap it up there. I just got Cruz down finally. Um, he's been sleeping. Like a frog, kind of. Usually he sleeps on his belly, but he's been so tired he hasn't even flipped over to fall asleep lately. So I took a body shower. Update on the eucalyptus. I think I like it. Obviously one time I'm not gonna notice a huge difference, at least I don't think, but the smell was amazing. Body washed and I used these two products on my face. I use this one mixed with this one about three times a week now. This is new. If you don't get a monthly facial and get products recommended by a professional, I don't know what you're doing. It took me forever to get on this train of going to spend my money at a facial bar. I would never look back. I've seen my girl for probably three or four years now and she's now on her own place. I'm gonna put her stuff down below because 1010 recommend. She's the best, she'll be honest with you. She doesn't try to upsell you. She just tells you what you need and she takes care of you and you can girl talk or you can sit in silence while it's happening. You get the best of both worlds. And then I use this, the same stuff I used this morning. It's the firming fluid, the bamboo firming fluid all over my face. And then the moisturizer. I love this moisturizer. It is the 8 Greens Whip Moisturizer. Again, I used both of those this morning. Um, and then I've been using the eye cream. Tonight was fun. Haircuts were kind of a nightmare. Not really a nightmare, they were just chaotic. Cruz got a haircut and Scott wasn't able to make it because he had to be here to get some equipment from someone. Um, so it was just me trying to wrangle him. He does fairly well with a haircut, but just like any toddler, he wants down, he wants all sorts of things. But I brought all the snacks, he ate all of them. Um, he looks so freaking cute. He looks like a little toddler, which makes me sad, but also he's so handsome. I got my roots done much, much better. Um, and Scott's gonna get his hair cut tomorrow. And then we went to pizza shop in Blue Springs to celebrate Scott's dad's birthday. We just had pizza. The boys ran crazy, literally ran crazy. My kid's knees, he was crawling crazy. My kid's knees were covered in dirt, covered just from crawling on the floor. I know, disgusting, but... It was bath night. I let him live his life. We went to ice cream before we got home. Cruz loves ice cream. He's definitely a boy after his mama's heart. Um, and then we came home. Cruz took a bath, had a bottle, and went to bed. I just took a shower. Scott is... I don't know what he's doing, <laughs> to be completely honest. And I think I'm going to lay in bed and watch 2020 because that sounds like the perfect Friday night. That's it. I'm going to wrap it up there and call it a night. Thank you for watching this vlog if you've watched it and for my like 22 subscribers. I appreciate you guys and this is fun. I really enjoy it. So, more to come. Peace.
good where he's at. Let's continue. Say goodnight, Debbie.